Good morning, dear. I wish that all of you and your families are healthy and fine. Please uh, put your homeworks in front of you. Let's correct our homework together. If you have any question or any note, uh, write it and then ask me on the chat. Okay? Let's start by the practice. Given the following figure, here is the figure and before looking at the questions, let's take a look on the figure and try to understand it well. Here we have a triangle ABC. We don't know the length of sides, so let's take a look on the angles. We have ACB equals 60 degree and CBA equals to 60 degree. Then definitely the third angle is 60. Why? Because the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degree. So 60 plus 60 equals to 120. And we say that 180 minus 120 equals to 60 degree. Since the three angles are equal and each one of them equal to 60 degree, then I'm talking about an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle has three equal sides and three equal angles as a definition now uh, a rule that we memorized in equilateral triangle is that the median issued from any of the vertices is at the same time a height a bisector and a perpendicular bisector here for example cf is a median why because given that af equals to fb then f is the midpoint of ab Uh, it's a height since CF is perpendicular to AB. It's also a bisector of angle ACB and the perpendicular bisector since CF is perpendicular to AB at its midpoint F. Similarly, BE is a height relative to CA since it's perpendicular and E is the foot of perpendicular. Uh, BE is also a median relative to CA since given that AE equal to EC then E is midpoint of AC and BE is a segment issued from vertex B to the midpoint of the opposite side so it's a median. It's a bisector that divides the angle into two equal angles and it's the perpendicular bisector since it's perpendicular to CA at its midpoint E similarly with respect to AD. Now, ABC is an equilateral triangle. Complete. What's the relation between AD and BC? This is AD and the segment BC. They are perpendicular. Why? Because the angle formed is 90 degree. Then AD is, since it's perpendicular to BC, then AD is the height relative to BC. Now, on the other side, as a line, we say that it's perpendicular. But what about DB and DC? DB and DC. They are equal because we have the same sign on both sides. So, what if CD equals to DB? This means that D is the midpoint of segment BC. And... Since AD is a segment issued from vertex A to the midpoint of the opposite side, so I can say that AD is a median relative to BC. Now let's look at the angles. We have CAD. Here this angle, CAD, equals to which angle? It must equal to DAB, which is 30 degrees. So I can say that AD is the bisector of CAB. AD is perpendicular to BC at D. Then AD is the perpendicular bisector of BC. Number two. What does CF represent to the triangle ABC? Here is our triangle ABC. What does CF represent since ABC is an equilateral triangle, then CF is at the same time, it's a bisector of angle ACB, it divides the angle ACB into two equal adjacent angles, ACF and FCB, 
it's a median relative to AB since CF is issued from vertex C to the midpoint F of segment AB CF is also a height relative to AB and since it's perpendicular to AB at its midpoint then it's the perpendicular bisector of AB now what does BE represent to the triangle ABC this is BE we are still in an equilateral triangle so as we said about CF we can also say about BE it's at the same time a median relative to CA it's uh, a height relative to CA and since BE is perpendicular to uh, segment CA at its midpoint so it's at the same time a perpendicular bisector of CA and it's also a bisector of angle CBA okay number four what does the point O represent for the triangle ABC this is our triangle and as we conclude CF AD and BE are the medians height bisector and perpendicular bisector they are overlapping so what about O? O is the centroid since its point of intersection of the medians it's at the same time the orthocenter since it's the point of intersection of height it's also the in center or center of circle inscribed or drawn inside the triangle since it's the point of intersection of the bisectors and it's the circumcenter or center of circle circumscribed about the triangle since it, it's the point of intersection of the perpendicular bisectors. Given an equilateral triangle, DEF, how can we draw an equilateral triangle? Uh, first, we have to take into consideration that we don't have a length of the side. So, I can draw EF with the length that I chose. Okay? Then, I have to put the compass at F, open it on radius EF. Put it on the vertex F and draw the first arc. Now, without changing the radius, put the needle of the compass on E and draw another arc. The point of intersection of these two arcs is the point D. Why did I use the compass? In order to have three sides DE, EF, and FD of the same length because an equilateral triangle is a triangle that has three equal sides and three equal angles. Now, the median DI, what's a median? It's a segment issued from vertex, which is D here, to the midpoint of the opposite side. So, what's the opposite of angle EDF? The side EF. So, I have to plot the midpoint of EF. I will call it I, since the median is DI, and then join them together. And the height EJ, what's a height? It's a segment issued from a vertex E here, perpendicular to the opposite side. What is the opposite side of the angle DEF? It's DF. So the height should be drawn EJ, height relative to DF. Please, you have to notice that it uh, should here. The median is at the same time, the height, the bisector, and the perpendicular bisector. Okay, why? Since our triangle is equilateral. So, from any vertex, any line should from the vertex to the midpoint, which is median, is also at the same time, height, bisector, and perpendicular bisector. They intersect at H. This is DI and EJ, the point of intersection here is called H. It's required to prove HD equal HE equal to HF. HD equal to HE equal to HF. 
As I told you, it's at the same time median height by sector and perpendicular by sector. I'm talking about DI and EJ. So, um, DI and EJ are perpendicular by sectors drawn inside the triangle. So, um, H is the intersection of the perpendicular by sectors. Then, H is the center of circle circumscribed about triangle D, E, and F. I can say that HD, HE, and HF are radii of the same circle, so they are equal. How to write it? Since DF is an equilateral triangle, then point H, the point of intersection of median and the height, is at the same time centroid, the intersection of median, or the center, the intersection of height, and center, the intersection of bisectors, and circumcenter, the intersection of perpendicular bisectors. Okay? H is on the perpendicular bisector of EF, so H is equidistant from E and from F. So HE equal to HF. Similarly, I can say that EJ is the perpendicular bisector of DF. So H is equidistant from D and F. So HD equal to HF. And we can say that the third bisector here, FH, the third perpendicular bisector, H is a point on the perpendicular bisector of ED, so HD equal to HE. So here I can say that HE equal to HD equal to HF. Okay, you can prove it this way, or you can say that the intersection of the perpendicular bisectors, so it's at the center of circle, circumscribed about the triangle. Okay. Um, you may notice that in geometry always we have other methods okay we have to think logic they are all correct but you have to choose the one uh, that is closer to your mind now in the adjacent figure ABC is an equilateral triangle A B C this is triangle it's equilateral so the three sides are equal D is the perpendicular to BC at point B. H is the orthogonal projection from A to D. I have to prove that AB is the bisector of HAC. AB is the bisector of HAC. So, um, how can I think now? The bisector is a semi-line that divides the angle into two equal adjacent angles. So I have to prove HAB, this angle here, equals to BAC. Now let's start from the triangle. ABC is an equilateral tri triangle, so it has a three equal angles. Each one of them equals to 60 degrees. Okay? ABC equilateral, then BAC equal to ABC equal ACB equal to 60 degrees. And now here I can find this angle, HBC equal to 90 degree. So angle HBA is 90 minus 60 equal to 30 degree. These angles are adjacent complementary. Now. In the triangle HBA, I know that AHB equals to 90 degree. Okay, it's right at H. And we know that HBA equal to 30. So, let's find HAB. It's 180 minus 90 plus 30. So, 180 minus 120 equals to 60 degree. Or, you can say directly that AB H is a right triangle since this angle is 90 so the other two angles are complementary so HAB is 90 minus 30 which is 60 if you notice here HAB equal to BAC so the adjacent angles are equal then I can say that AB is the bisector of angle 
HAC. Please, you have to write the answers on your classwork copybook. If you have any question, you can contact me. Thank you for your attention.